Knowledge management kilometer is the process of creating, sharing, using and managing the knowledge and information of an organization. It refers to a multidisciplinary approach to achieving organizational objectives by making the best use of knowledge, an established discipline since 1991. Kilometer includes courses taught in the fields of business administration, information systems, management, library, and information sciences. Other fields may contribute to kilometer research, including information and media, computer science, public health, and public policy. Several universities offer dedicated master's degrees in knowledge management. Many large companies, public institutions and non-profit organizations have resources dedicated to internal kilometer efforts, often as a part of their business strategy, IT, or human resource management departments. Several consulting companies provide advice regarding kilometer to these organizations. Knowledge management efforts typically focus on organizational objectives such as improved performance, competitive advantage, innovation, the sharing of lessons learned, integration and continuous improvement of the organization. These efforts overlap with organizational learning and may be distinguished from that by a greater focus on the management of knowledge as a strategic asset and on encouraging the sharing of knowledge. Kilometer is an enabler of organizational learning. History Knowledge management efforts have a long history, including on-the-job discussions, formal apprenticeship, discussion forums, corporate libraries, professional training, and mentoring programs. With increased use of computers in the second half of the 20th century, specific adaptations of technology such as knowledge bases, expert systems, information repositories, group decision support systems, intranets, and computer supported cooperative work have been introduced to further enhance such efforts. In 1999, the term personal knowledge management was introduced. It refers to the management of knowledge at the individual level. In the enterprise, early collections of case studies recognized the importance of knowledge management dimensions of strategy, process and measurement. Key lessons learned include people and the cultural norms which influence their behaviors are the most critical resources for successful knowledge creation, dissemination and application. Cognitive, social and organizational learning processes are essential to the success of a knowledge management strategy, and measurement, benchmarking and incentives are essential to accelerate the learning process and to drive cultural change. In short, knowledge management programs can yield impressive benefits to individuals and organizations if they are purposeful, concrete and action-orientated. Research Kilometer emerged as a scientific discipline in the early 1990s. It was initially supported by individual practitioners, when Scandia hired Leif Evansson of Sweden as the world's first chief knowledge officer CKO. Hubert Saint-Onge formerly of CIBC, Canada, started investigating Kilometer long before that. The objective of CKOs is to manage and maximize the intangible assets of their organizations. Gradually, CKOs became interested in practical and theoretical aspects of Kilometer, and the new research field was formed. The kilometer idea has been taken up by academics, such as Akujiro Nonaka Hitotsubashi University, Hirotaka Takuchi Hitotsubashi University, Thomas H. Davenport Babson College, and Baruch Lev New York University. In 2001, Thomas A. Stewart, former editor at Fortune magazine and subsequently the editor of Harvard Business Review, published a cover story highlighting the importance of intellectual capital in organizations. The kilometer discipline has been gradually moving towards academic maturity. First, is a trend toward higher cooperation among academics, single author publications are less common. Second, the role of practitioners has changed. Their contribution to academic research declined from 30% of overall contributions up to 2002, to only 10% by 2009. Third, the number of academic knowledge management journals has been steadily growing, currently reaching 27 outlets. Multiple kilometer disciplines exist, approaches vary by author and school. As the discipline matured, academic debates increased regarding theory and practice, including technocentric with a focus on technology, ideally those that enhance knowledge sharing and creation, organizational with a focus on how an organization can be designed to facilitate knowledge processes best. 
ecological with a focus on the interaction of people, identity, knowledge, and environmental factors as a complex adaptive system akin to a natural ecosystem, regardless of the school of thought. Core components of Kilometer roughly include people, culture, processes, structure, and technology. The details depend on the perspective. Kilometer perspectives include community of practice, social network analysis, intellectual capital, information theory, complexity science, constructivism. The practical relevance of academic research in Kilometer has been questioned, with action research suggested as having more relevance and the need to translate the findings presented in academic journals to a practice. Topic. Dimensions Different frameworks for distinguishing between different types of knowledge exist. One proposed framework for categorizing the dimensions of knowledge distinguishes tacit knowledge and explicit knowledge. Tacit knowledge represents internalized knowledge that an individual may not be consciously aware of, such as to accomplish particular tasks. At the opposite end of the spectrum, explicit knowledge represents knowledge that the individual holds consciously in mental focus, in a form that can easily be communicated to others. Akujiro Nonaka proposed a model SECI, for socialization, externalization, combination, internalization which considers a spiraling interaction between explicit knowledge and tacit knowledge. In this model, knowledge follows a cycle in which implicit knowledge is extracted to become explicit knowledge, and explicit knowledge is re-internalized into implicit knowledge. Hayes and Walsham, 2003, describe knowledge and knowledge management as two different perspectives. The content perspective suggests that knowledge is easily stored because it may be codified, while the relational perspective recognizes the contextual and relational aspects of knowledge which can make knowledge difficult to share outside the specific context in which it is developed. Early research suggested that kilometer needs to convert internalized tacit knowledge into explicit knowledge to share it, and the same effort must permit individuals to internalize and make personally meaningful any codified knowledge retrieved from the kilometer effort. Subsequent research suggested that a distinction between tacit knowledge and explicit knowledge represented an oversimplification and that the notion of explicit knowledge is self-contradictory. Specifically, for knowledge to be made explicit, it must be translated into information i.e., symbols outside our heads. More recently, together with Georg von Kroc and Sven Volpel, Nonarka returned to his earlier work in an attempt to move the debate about knowledge conversion forward. A second proposed framework for categorizing knowledge dimensions distinguishes embedded knowledge of a system outside a human individual, e.g., an information system may have knowledge embedded into its design from embodied knowledge representing a learned capability of a human body's nerve nervous and endocrine systems, a third proposed framework distinguishes between the exploratory creation of new knowledge, i.e., innovation, versus the transfer or exploitation of established knowledge within a group, organization, or community. Collaborative environments such as communities of practice or the use of social computing tools can be used for both knowledge creation and transfer. Topic strategies Knowledge may be accessed at three stages, before, during, or after kilometer-related activities. Organizations have tried knowledge capture incentives, including making content submission mandatory and incorporating rewards into performance measurement plans. Considerable controversy exists over whether such incentives work and no consensus has emerged. One strategy to kilometer involves actively managing knowledge push strategy. In such an instance, individuals strive to explicitly encode their knowledge into a shared knowledge repository, such as a database, as well as retrieving knowledge they need that other individuals have provided codification. Another strategy involves individuals making knowledge requests of experts associated with a particular subject on an ad hoc basis, pull strategy. In such an instance, expert individuals provide insights to request a personalization. Hansen et al. defined the two strategies. Codification focuses on collecting and storing codified knowledge in electronic databases to make it accessible. Codification can therefore refer to both tacit and explicit knowledge. In contrast, personalization encourages individuals to share their knowledge directly. Information technology plays a less important role, as it is only facilitates communication and knowledge sharing. 
Other knowledge management strategies and instruments for companies include, knowledge sharing fostering a culture that encourages the sharing of information, based on the concept that knowledge is not irrevocable and should be shared and updated to remain relevant make knowledge sharing a key role in employees' job description into project knowledge transfer intra-organizational knowledge sharing inter-organizational knowledge sharing proximity and architecture the physical situation of employees can be either conducive or obstructive to knowledge sharing storytelling as a means of transfer Transferring tacit knowledge, cross-project learning after action reviews knowledge mapping, a map of knowledge repositories within a company accessible by all. Communities of practice expert directories to enable knowledge seeker to reach to the experts. Expert systems knowledge seeker responds to one or more specific questions to reach knowledge in a repository. Best practice transfer knowledge fairs competence management, systematic evaluation and planning of competences of individual organization members, master apprentice relationship, mentor mentee relationship, job shadowing, collaborative software technologies, wikis, shared bookmarking, blogs, social software, etc. Knowledge repository databases, bookmarking engines, etc. Measuring and reporting intellectual capital a way of making explicit knowledge for companies Knowledge brokers Some organizational members take on responsibility for a specific field and act as first reference on a specific subject. Motivations <inaudible> 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 Multiple motivations lead organizations to undertake kilometer. Typical considerations include Making available increased knowledge content in the development and provision of products and services Achieving shorter development cycles Facilitating and managing innovation and organizational learning Leveraging expertises across the organization Increasing network connectivity between internal and external individuals Managing business environments and allowing employees to obtain relevant insights and ideas appropriate to their work Solving intractable or wicked problems Managing intellectual capital and assets in the workforce such as the expertise and know-how possessed by key individuals or stored in repositories <laughs> Kilometer technologies Knowledge management kilometer technology can be categorized Groupware — software that facilitates collaboration and sharing of organizational information. Such applications provide tools for threaded discussions, document sharing, organization-wide uniform email, and other collaboration-related features. Workflow systems — systems that allow the representation of processes associated with the creation, use and maintenance of organizational knowledge, such as the process to create and utilize forms and documents. Content management and document management systems — software systems that automate the process of creating web content and or documents. Roles such as editors, graphic designers, writers and producers can be explicitly modeled along with the tasks in the process and validation criteria. Commercial vendors started either to support documents or to support web content but as the Internet grew these functions merged and vendors now perform both functions. Enterprise portals — software that aggregates information across the entire organization or for groups such as project teams. E-learning — software that enables organizations to create customized training and education. This can include lesson plans, monitoring progress and online classes. Planning and scheduling software — software that automates schedule creation and maintenance. The planning aspect can integrate with project management software. Telepresence — software that enables individuals to have virtual, face-to-face -face meetings without assembling at one location. Video conferencing is the most obvious example, these categories overlap. Workflow, for example, is a significant aspect of a content or document management systems, most of which have tools for developing enterprise portals. Proprietary kilometer technology products such as Lotus Notes define proprietary formats for email, documents, forms, etc. The Internet drove most vendors to adopt Internet formats. Open source and freeware tools for the creation of blogs and wikis now enable capabilities that used to require expensive commercial tools. Kilometer is driving the adoption of tools that enable organizations to work at the semantic level, as part of the semantic web. 
Some commentators have argued that after many years the semantic web has failed to see widespread adoption, while other commentators have argued that it has been a success. <laughs> See also